all right just another quick video uh, guys I've been having trouble um, getting this TDS 540 to uh, signal path compensate on channel 3 I'm getting a trigger uh, failure so this is kind of what I've tracked it down to if we look at the schematic real quick you'll see this is the trigger circuit this here is uh, the trigger 1552 what I'm pointing at right now is where the channel signals go in channel uh, 1 through 4 this here is the output of the trigger it's not the actual trigger but it's the actual signal that's coming out that's selected and that is what is showing on the other TDS 520 scope right here what's interesting is I have it on channel 1 now we're going to compare channel 1 to channel 3 now please note let's look at the schematics real quick this is channel 1 on channel 1 remember you have differential outputs on this uh, on this scope you have right here if it focuses on pin 9 and 10 you have enable and invert now both of these on channel 1 and channel 3 are the same I checked it and look channel Pin, five, pin 9 and pin 10. Pin 9 is 5 volts. Pin 10 is 0 volts. They're both the same. So those would be the ones who would be controlling. Those pins would be controlling output 2. Um, and output 2, the inverted output 2, which is pin 2, is what the, what, what the, uh, is the trigger uh, signal that goes to U1552. Uh, so having set all that up, let's take a look. Now, as I turn the uh, vertical offset clockwise, it'll be applying a more negative voltage to the inverting input, which is um, pin 21 of the preamp, which should cause it to go down. But remember, um, pin... <laughs> Let's see, what is it? Pin 2, which goes to the trigger, is inverted itself. So it should go up. Now let's see what it does on channel 1. I mean, it should go down, excuse me, on channel 1. Because what it's doing is it's inverting it, which means a negative becomes a positive. And then uh, a po positive becomes a negative. So without it inverting it, basically the, 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 the higher negative should become, should invert it and it should go down. So let's follow that logic again, if you don't mind. Um, as you apply more of a negative voltage to posit to pin one, that will increase. So then you, would ha you should have the trace going up. But since it's negative, since pin 2 is inverted, it should go down. So let's see. And it does. It goes down. That's exactly what it should do. Now, if we change the channels to channel 3. Okay. Okay, now we're, we're on channel 3. That's from channel 3's preamp. We're going to do the same thing. We're, gonna inc we're going to go more negative on pin 21 of preamp 3. Now watch what happens. It goes up rather than going down. Uh, but it's not inverted. It's the same thing. Both of them are configured the same way. So that's why I think it's failing signal path compensation is because of that very fact. Why it's doing it, I have no idea. Maybe someone could give me a clue. Thank you.